Hi guys, Ash here and this is my review of the Czech ROM for the Galaxy S3 i9-300 uh, So guys, I've been using this ROM for a few days now and uh, the first thing I'd tell you about this ROM is that it's extremely fast uh, extremely stable zero force closures or crashes and uh, everything works as it should and the first impression you'll have when you see this ROM is that it's very very light you don't uh, a lot of widgets like the weather widget and so on have been removed and as far as apps go again you get the bare minimum uh, you do not really get a lot of apps or widgets with this uh, and it's all about you know speed and it's optimized for battery usage as well so uh, you get a really good battery with this I've been getting about 30 hours but I mean 25 to 30 hours for moderate usage again my moderate moderate usage involves a few hours of browsing over 3G or Wi-Fi uh, a few hours you know two to three hours of uh, music or Bluetooth uh, 15 20 minutes of videos uh, and uh, that's pretty much it I mean, obviously texting and calls about four hours of calls a day so uh, three to four hours uh, so I still get about 25 to 30 hours solid it's very good when it comes to battery life okay coming back to the fact that this uh, ROM is very very uh, light the reason is this ROM has a lot of customizations and that is in the in the form of Kitchen Pro. So what Kitchen Pro is, uh, you know, it is an app that actually lets you change a lot of things about the ROM that actually kind of lets you build your own ROM. Uh, for example here, you got uh, over here, this is the kernels tab. You have all these kernels and you can just install them right from here. All you need to do is just tap on it, uh, say Dark Knight S3 mark for installation and now I've go ahead and download and install packages and it's done so I'm just gonna go ahead and unmark the installation so you've got a lot of kernels over here and then as far as themes go you again have a few and going into widgets and apps and here you get all your removed widgets and apps you get the stock ginger, gingerbread keyboard, ICS keyboard the AccuWeather widgets and services, all I mean, Samsung chat on, clock package, Dropbox, social hub and SNS support, Samsung app store, uh, the live wallpapers, S memo and S suggest, S voice, voice recorder, Yahoo widgets, stock font and so on. So all of these have been removed already and you can actually add it again over here. Say for example, I'm gonna add the voice recorder. As far as morphing goes, you get the circle battery percentage over there. And then you have your utilities, the DSP manager, USB mass storage, uh, quick panel settings, clockwork mod app. And then you have your mods, no increasing ringtone, the, what do you say, removing SMS of the call logs, uh, unlimited stock browser, stock browser tabs, unlimited, uh, I mean the MMS not, I mean the SMS not getting converted to MMS and so on. So I'm also going to get the Google Maps mod. So now uh, the way it works is all you need to do is just hit download and install packages and you hit download. So uh, these packages get downloaded and they get installed right from the app. So the Kitchen Pro is a cool little fee, uh, app that you know really sets the Czech ROM apart and for people who've been using this ROM uh, on the Galaxy Note, if you've had a Galaxy Note or an S2 prior to this. Uh, you know, I believe this ROM is available for the S2. I've not used it personally, but I have used this ROM on the Galaxy Note, and this was my favorite ROM on the Galaxy Note. If anyone, I mean, I mean, if you've been subscribed to my videos, and if you've seen my Galaxy Note videos, this is the ROM that I used to go back to. And for the S3, they have done an equally good good job, and this is amazing. Uh, the battery life and the stability is really, really good with this ROM. So uh, let me just show you how you know Kitchen Pro works, and then we'll run a few benchmarks. So you just need to hit reboot and install. Grant. So we're back up, guys. Uh, and uh, you can see voice recorder is back up. 
So alright guys, uh, let's quickly run a full benchmark here. There you have it, 5371, that's pretty decent. Now let's quickly run the Antutu benchmark. Close, test, start test. So there we have it guys, uh, 12,021 and that's again a, a great score for the Galaxy S3. So that's pretty much it guys for the review of uh, check ROM for the Galaxy S3 i9-300. If you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. Uh, so before you go guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons uh, and I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy S3 i9-300. If you guys want to do me a favor, use my links in the description to Amazon. Uh, if you want to purchase anything online, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be Galaxy S3 related stuff. Uh, I didn't make a few cents to a few bucks uh, based on every order you guys uh, place. So that is if you guys want to help me out. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it guys. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, bye bye.